Welcome back, everybody. So, before we get all crazy and start yanking the motor out and stuff, which is probably still going to happen. Oh, we found our problem. <laughs> it is really, really noticeable here. Uh, as of right now, we're probably done for the year. With that being said, moving on to the next thing we were going to do. Um, we're going to start prepping and swapping out for the new fenders. I've got my youngest assistant is helping get rid of the rest of the pinstripe on the car. And we're also going to remove some of the stickers. I have duplicates of the ones we're removing just because I'm not a big fan of the placement. And I might see if we can get into some wear or maybe find a sponsor or something because I just don't have the space or time to doctor up this because this is getting way worse and now that we're putting good rust free fenders on the front I'd kind of like the at least the visible parts of the car to also be rust free and we might rock the color for another season if I can get rust repair done and maybe a couple spot repairs I'm sure it's going to be cheaper than a full color change right now but anyway I'm going to stop talking We're finally starting to get somewhere. Got the bumper cover. Josie just helped me get the hood off because for whatever reason they put the hood hinges on the fenders on these cars. She is done knocked out all the pinstripe on this side. And now I got her peeling the Parkdale and the BJ's custom tuning ones off. Like I said, I have new ones and we're gonna figure out different placement after we hopefully get some body work done. So I am Chiseling away, I get everything unhooked off this fender. Now that we got the hood out of the way, I can finish weaseling that guy out. The hood hinge can now stay until we get it out. Got another, another guy right there. I think there might, I'm not sure if there's some in the door, but I know we've got those two on the bottom. Plus some randoms in here. So, uh, but yeah, I'll check back in once uh, once this is all not not there no more. So I'm sick of looking at it. I'm really sick of looking at it. There you have it. We got the one crusty rusty on off. Not a moment too soon. It's already starting to do work on the car itself. But other than that, the side's looking pretty good. So, well, we got that off. Just in the nick of time, it's starting to tinkle. 
we're gonna go ahead and scavenge everything we need to scavenge off of this one and get it prepped on the new one and at least get it setting on there for now i would really like to do i'd like to do we're gonna do something with this before that fender goes back on this is this is too much there we go we've got our cut out for the exhaust slightly a little better looking than I did the first time yeah anywho now that we got it all clearance I'm gonna go ahead and get this here trim panel cleaned up and slapped onto the new fender and then we're gonna set it on All right, it's Monday morning. Oil filter cutter, Biggie's oil filter. Couldn't tell, I didn't really want to cut. This is corn. there we go. Talking hell, the suspense is killing me. We managed to find a couple of pieces that weren't supposed to be in there. I already wiped my hands off. They're gone now. But motor's coming out. Bang, bang. Well, we've got the town car running because although we only got one of the fenders swapped, it's time to pull the motor. Jamie is kind enough to let me do so at his house. That way we can push the car just outside the garage and when it comes time, we can just push it back in. He's got a cherry picker, he's got an engine stand. So we'll head up to Jamie's so we can see how bad the damage is. Well, as you can see, Biggie's in a garage. Quite nice garage, I might add. And uh, I'm not even really gonna bore you guys with a whole bunch of talking. I want answers, so I'm gonna start wrenching and I'll revisit you when we find something.
Well, we've got it almost all the way apart, but we have it apart enough to confirm my suspicion. Um, make sure it's all the way back. Watch carefully and see it's got some movement to it. Needless to say, my suspicion was correct. We have for a sparing wear, so we're gonna finish getting it apart and show you what we find when we get there. Almost there. taking some of the, you can see where it's wearing down on the material, kind of looks like it got warm right there. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. The next day. Hi! Are you videoing? Yes. Alright, <laughs> it is the next day. And, uh, we're gonna go ahead and bust the rods out of this, so we will revisit you once, uh, all these are out. So we got the rods out. Rods and pistons look good, but um, uh, that's kind of yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Zoom in on that. That is noticeable with a fingernail. So that's problem number one. It's just this journal. There's a little one there, and there's one over here. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish pulling the main caps so we can see what the rest of the main bearings look like. 20 minutes later. We found our problem. Right here. And then you see that groove right there? It's very, very noticeable here. And if you look at the bearing, <laughs> it is really, really noticeable here. What it looks like is not that one, but that hole right there can kind of feel like a little burr right there uh, uh, on the edge of that oiling hole. Like that's what ate up the bearing. So, uh, as of right now, we're probably done for the year. Um, I was hoping to throw bearings at it, not uh, cranking bearings, so. To be continued, I guess. <laughs> 